Meanwhile, the search for missing father Daniel Hind has intensified, with detectives raiding the Burton home where he was last seen alive. It comes as police delve into the 29-year-old's past, including his links with missing man and mother Jodie Myers. Police swooped on the Beetle Street home in five cars at 10.30 this morning. Detectives knocked on the door before going inside. Closely behind were uniformed officers, including one with a sniffer dog. Officers wearing gloves could be seen searching for clues. They emerged with a bag of evidence and took off. The occupants left alone, but in no mood to talk. Got nothing to say, mate. This is private property. A neighbour wasn't so shy, revealing how strange noises were heard coming from the property the day after Paralawi father Daniel Hine vanished on August 28. She said it went on until about three o'clock in the morning. She said there was punching and fist throwing and yeah, pretty full on. She said she was having trouble sleeping because it was too loud. Yesterday, Nine News revealed a link between the Burton house and missing man and mum Jodie Myers. Jodie's sister revealing she knows a woman who lives at the property. Police said today that while the link is uncanny, they have found no other evidence that the two disappearances are connected. The search for Jodie Myers has taken police outside of the Manham area. It's understood that on Sunday morning they came to this Murray Bridge unit complex where Jodie once lived. They just knocked on the door and asked if we'd seen Jodie Myers and we said no, we haven't. Virtually bashing on my door, uh, went around to the back, uh, also uh, bashing on my windows. It's now been nearly three weeks since anyone has heard from either of the missing people. Ben Avery, Nine News.